to the Thessalonians. Brethren, you know how you ought to imitate us. We were not idle when we were with you. We did not eat anyone's bread without paying, but we toil and labor, we worked night and day, that we might not burden any of you. It was not because we have not that right, but to give you in our conduct an example to imitate. For even when we were with you, we gave you this command. If anyone will not work, let him not eat. For we hear that some of you are walking in idleness, mere busybodies, not doing any work. Now, and to earn their own living. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that time, as some spoke of the temple, how it was adorned with the noble stones and offerings, Jesus said, As for these things which you see, the days will come when there shall not be left here one stone upon another that will not be thrown down. And they asked him, Teacher, when will this be? 
and what will it be the sign when this is about to take place? And he said, Take heed that you are not led astray. For many will come in my name, saying, I am he, and the time is at hand. Do not go after them. And when you hear of wars and tumults, do not be terrified, for this must first take place, but the end will not be at once. Then he said to them, Nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be great earthquakes, and in various places famines and pestilences, and there will be terrors and great signs from heaven. But before all this, they will lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and prisons, and you will be brought before kings and governors for my name's sake. This will be a time for you to bear testimony. Set it, set it therefore in your minds, not to meditate beforehand how to answer. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which none of your adversaries will be able to withstand or contradict. You will be delivered up even by parents and brothers and kinsmen and friends. And some of you they will put to death. You will be hated by all for my name's sake. But not a hair of your head will perish. By your endurance, you will gain your lives. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear sisters and brothers, today we celebrate the 33rd Sunday in the ordinary time of the year, Yasi. Today, as I said from the beginning, in our diocese is a day of the pilgrimage to the birthplace of our patron saint, the patron saint of this diocese, Ponsian Ngondwe, who originates from Bulimu. Bulimu is on your way from just between Mokona and Kayunga. It is in, in Nagalama Parish. We continue to pray for all those who have participated in this year's pilgrimage. Today, Form 6 invites us to join them. They are thanking the Lord. They are praising the Lord for the great wonders he has done in their lives. It's always very, very important to be grateful, to give thanks, because in a way, you are just fighting that negative energy and replacing the negative energy with the positivity. Because there are some people who are never grateful. And you ask why? Because they have a lot of negativity. We thank them for their 
positivity because this gesture is a positive gesture. You know, I have ever attended a function of this nature. And when, you know, the students came up to express their feelings, feelings of thankfulness, the messages, as if were, some were a bit negative. In a way, they were a bit sarcastic. And you wonder, you say, I'm grateful, I've come to thank the Lord. Let the message be that. It's very good to be grateful because this improves your relationship with God. And not only with God, because when you thank God, you are coming closer to Him. But not only God, you are thanking the, your parents the class teachers. You are thanking the community. You are thanking the teachers. You are thanking the administration. That improves your relationship with them because of that gesture of appreciation. It's always good to be grateful because when you are grateful, you are living a life of humility you are humbling yourself that God, if it were not you, I wouldn't make it. It's not your own making, but God has been there for you, guiding you, protecting you, and providing for you. That is great. Thank you, Form 6. As we celebrate the 33rd Sunday, we are soon coming to the end of the liturgical year. <clears throat> Next Sunday, it will be 34th Sunday in the ordinary time of the year. That is the last Sunday in the liturgical year. And on that day, that fourth Sunday, that's also when we celebrate, that Sunday is celebrated as Christ the King. So as we mark the end of the liturgical year, we celebrate our King, who is Christ. And after that, we shall begin a new liturgical year. Since this has been cycle C, we go back to cycle A. And we begin that with the period of Advent. Maybe you will not be with us here. All the three readings express an element of ending. The experience of ending can be among, most, among us the most painful and difficult of all realities. More so when we lose our dear ones. Even though our faith tells us that for them who have left us, life has changed, not ended, yet we know that the kind of relationship we had always with them has come to an end. It's really painful. In the first reading, Prophet Malachi preaches to the Israelites who had come back from exile in the year 450 BC. He speaks of the end of the world when God will punish the wicked and reward 
the faithful. Malachi is not talking about the physical ending of the world, but about how you and me should be living now. Most of us have not used our lives so well. Much as we want to use our lives well, sometimes we get distracted. Sometimes we get caught up in the desires of the flesh. Sometimes we get caught up in desires of power. Sometimes we are just over-concerned about others talking about us. This one is really talking about me. This one is talking about me. Malachi is preaching to us that the final days of the world are always right in front of us. And this means we must be ready to die now. At this very moment. If we need to repent from some sin, now it is the time. If we want to thank God for something, now is the time. If we need to forgive someone, now is the time. There is no time to waste. Now is the day for salvation. So let us celebrate this Sunday as if it is our final Sunday. In the second reading, during the life of the early Christians, some false prophets arose. They went about predicting the second coming of Jesus Christ, that it was soon. So, people gave up on working. They said, since the end is soon, why are you wasting my energy? Let, us just, let me just be there and wait the end. St. Paul intervened because the situation was going out of hands. And he said, anyone who does not work must not eat. The message of St. Paul is on a daily basis, each one of us has work to do. Whether you are very successful in your work, or at some point you experience some failure, you must at any point place your trust in God. The activities we do each day, the events we experience each day, are not meant to stress us. Never say, I am stressed, I am stressed with work. No. They are meant to sanctify us. They are all, all parts, part of God's plan. Another idea from this second reading is that there is so much deception out there. So many voices that seek to confuse the population. So don't be deceived. A friend of mine was studying in London narrated to me he was rushing uh, to catch the bus 
to the college. And the two young men were following him. So he stopped to listen to them. And they showed him a picture, a very beautiful picture portraying the garden of Eden. And they told him, would you like the world to be like this? He immediately guessed that they were members of a particular sect. So he came up with a spontaneous answer. He told them, the world is already good and beautiful, like that portrait. They were so surprised and did not know how to proceed with their conversation. But they went further. Do you think it is like this? Oh yes, that's how I see it, replied the priest, the, this friend of mine. As they were talking, the bus left him. He told them, Gentlemen, the bus has left me. If you keep talking this way, the world will indeed become bad. They laughed and began to apologize. And so, embarrassed, they left. Form 6. And the rest of us, we are soon going out. Be careful. There is much deception out there. In the gospel, Jesus is standing on the courtyard of Jerusalem temple. And he overhears some people discussing the beauty of the temple. How the temple was adorned with the costly stones like marble and gold and other precious stones. How many visitors and princesses visit this temple and offer very beautiful gifts to the temple. How even some rabbis of that time used to say, whoever had not gazed on Jerusalem temple had not seen the perfection of beauty. It was counted among the wonders of the world. Now, Jesus makes a prophetic saying. All that you see about that temple, days will come when there will not be left a stone unturned. When these words fell in the ears of the Jews, it was a big shock to think of Jerusalem temple totally destroyed. This was a case next to impossible. This was the holiest shrine of the Jews, the heartbeat of the Jewish faith, the greatest source of joy and pride for the Jews. Destruction of that temple to them meant the end of the world. And it did so happen. Forty years after Jesus was crucified in the year 70 AD, the temple was destroyed by the Roman army. So, in this gospel, Jesus wants to teach us that there is no lasting city here on earth. No lasting treasure. 
nothing lasts forever. Sometimes we make ourselves too comfortable here on earth and we forget that, that there is life after. We must guard against investing much of our life and the passion in possessions which death can destroy. Instead, let us pursue things which cannot be taken away by death and that is love of God and love of neighbor. A certain priest visited a patient in the hospital and he saw a very beautiful photo on the table of the patient and he asked the patient is that your daughter? In her pains she smiled and shook her head no that's not my daughter that's me I took that picture three months ago The priest looked at the beautiful queen in the picture and later the same person in the bed the priest did back his tears. How three months could make that undesirable different life of a person. What is making you so happy and full of yourself today? Your beauty? Your handsomeness? Your credentials? Your large bank account? Is it your connections? All will pass away. And what is depressing you at this moment? Lack of money? False allegations? Broken relationships? They will all pass away. They will not last forever. Let us persevere in trusting the Lord. And I end with this other experience. A high school girl completed well her HSC fine examinations. And as a way of congratulating her, the parents bought her an expensive smartphone. So she began her vacation with a new smartphone. These two parents always in the morning left for work and come back in the evening. But to their surprise, their daughter every evening when they are from work was nowhere to be seen at least to welcome them from back from work. Always locked herself in her room all the time on her smartphone. And what disappointed them the more? On Sunday, the daughter did not wake up to go to church. Some weeks later, they sat her down and expressed their disappointment. We bought you a smartphone, but it has distanced you from us. You are no longer close to us. You even no longer welcome us back from work. 
You even started missing Sunday Mass. She told them, I have been busy online. Following an application of my course I want to take in the U.S. And it requires a lot, a lot of my concentration. That is what we do to God whenever we allow the gifts God gave us to overshadow the giver of those gifts. God has given us the, the gifts, but the gifts distract us, confuse us, and we put God aside. aside. We pray that, that that may not happen in our lives, especially as we go for our holidays. The Lord be with you. Let us stand up to profess our faith. I believe in one God, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, True God from true God, begotten and not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for us salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and he became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the world to come. Amen. We have all gathered here, dear sisters and brothers, to celebrate the mysteries of our redemption. Let us therefore ask Almighty God that the whole world may be watered from these springs of all blessings and life. Religious leaders, Katu Savile Abakule Mezebe Dini Monsio Na, Nadala Chitafe Omtuku Papa Francisco, 
abepiskopi, abasasolo doti, nebana dini wona. Tu savila omta mizomkuru, ela chaplaini wafe, Father Javi Rachimuli, nebana dini wona musomelo yafe. Tu sava katonda abalunga mi, ngaba sumbendi gaze. Let us pray to the Lord. For political leaders, Kat Shavire, Avebe Mbezbitu, Avi Hanga, Nabo Mwisho Merojitu, Namagunga, Abu Atolini. Nitukshava, Ngoyonjere Kubaha, Amajezi, Kokwewe Mbelava Antibawe, Ombusi Nje, Bagumevezle, Kandi, Bakujuke, Nkarhanga Wabo. Let us pray to the Lord. For thanksgiving, nous remercions Dieu pour nous, pour nous bénir jusqu'à ce moment. Nous lui remercions pour les 25 ans de la chapelle de l'école et pour les candidats de la quatrième classe après avoir conclu leurs examens finaux avec succès. Nous lui remercions aussi pour les années que la sixième classe est passée à Namagunga. Let us pray to the Lord. For the school community, Esia la mikisi loka suban, kanu eto dolun woni lolo, ageont na kekaru. Ibika kini ingareno wok, luke somero wok, nepepe ka i projectan, luele sete ngaren, akanin ka luka suban. Ilipa kini boboda, ikani edet, luka tukot na wongonet, kanu ka tukot na kanyeta ape, isire luka suban kesi, kotoma angito kesi. Nepepeka isisiak, lukatukon, nukokwap. Let us pray to the Lord. For the suffering, Olek pijo ametea shane yu hapo la pupat. Jia kongi li tutuwa lejo ametea shane ketuwa ebola. Jia atie shane, uria yela ilo wapo la pupat, tutuwa lelo wa Uganda. Kerijo ametea beo, ichani yu hapo la pupat, ichukulu wakani. Olek nyoba, gongi, ichani amegintia beye. Let us pray to the Lord. the dead. Let us pray for the souls of our departed relatives and friends. We pray that the Lord may grant them eternal rest and that he may comfort the bereaved families. We also thank him for the time we spent with them. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. Lord, hear us.
May the petitions of your church be pleasing to your sight, O Lord, so that we may receive from your mercy what we cannot ask out of confidence in our own merits through Christ our Lord.
our sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. Grant, O oh Lord, we pray that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Lift the Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's to a right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with the angels and archangels, with the thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Make a holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and he entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Christopher Kakosa, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, those we have presented to you, Lord, at the beginning of this Mass, those at the foot of this altar, written on those papers, those deep in our hearts, and all the faithful who departed, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Ponciano Mondwe, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coherent to eternal life, and we may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unit of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Father, Lord, in heaven, hallowed be your name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Grace us to grant peace nowadays, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that I should enter under my roof, but only to say what my soul shall be.
everything nice, so nice. Just look at me, everything fresh and nice. Nothing can stand against me. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring you, O Lord, that what your Son commanded to do in the memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. The main celebrant, Reverend Father Javira Chimuli, the head teacher, Reverend Sister Regina Nabawanuka, the deputy head teacher, Mrs. Chiro Derecho, the Reverend Sister present, the teaching and non-teaching staff present, the Uganda Catholics online team, my fellow students, good morning. Saints of the week, Tuesday, 
St. Albert the Great, Wednesday, St. Margaret of Scotland, and St. Gertrude, Thursday, St. Elizabeth of Hungary, Friday, Dedication of the Basilicas of St. Peter and Paul, Sunday, the day of our Lord Jesus Christ, King of the Universe, some announcements. There will be a Legion of Mary meeting at 4 p.m., starting with the Holy Rosary. All are welcome. The ladies that do their housework in the senior laboratories should go for housework after Mass without fail. The Form 6 ladies who cleaned the chapel yesterday are highly appreciated. May God bless you. There will be housework in the school chapel today after mass. Please keep time. The ladies who do their housework around the school chapel should stay behind after mass without fail. Once inside the chapel, you are, expect, you are expected to speak to no one but the Lord. On that note, you are all requested to maintain total silence while in the chapel. Thank you and success in your exams. The main celebrant, Reverend Father Javira Chimuli, the head teacher, Reverend Sister Regina Naba Wanuka, the deputy head teacher, Mrs. Shiron Derecho, the Reverend Sisters present, the teaching and non teaching staff, the visitors present, the candidates 2022, and the continuing students. Good morning. God is good. And all the time. Good is Dear Ebenezer, my daughter, it's all 300 hours, the third watch of the night, and I have failed to catch sleep. My comrades are just as I am, shoulders slouched anxious and somber. The only talk among us is, it's so cold outside, my sister. Except, I see the North Star. It calms the palpitations of my heart amidst the icy blows of the frigid winds of the silent night, and I'm reminded of you. Looking back at the day of my recruitment as a private in red, young, clumsy, small-bodied, we naively thought we had made it in life. <laughs> the initiation process was brutal. We swam on tarmac, hugged poles till they loved us back, <laughs> ran to the borehole and back in frail attempts to escape from authority. We stood in the freedom circle until the sun burnt us and the hair on our heads melted to our scalps. It was indeed a baptism by fire. The transition from red to green was both humbling and freeing. The struggle continued. Things became a little tougher. For some, it was too tough and they dropped out. On the bright side, bonds were strengthened. Green to blue to blue to maroon. The commander in chief this time was tough but kind and endearing. Blunt and spiritual, she led us into our first battle in Maroon. We barely made it out alive. But on remembering that God does not give big battles to small soldiers, our strength was replenished and the battle was won. The vacation was quite an eventful one. Some soldiers were reluctant to rejoin the training grounds and rejoined others. Phase two. Go back. It's just two years, they said, and so we thought. Happily, we carried our bags. 
not little bags this time. And we became and we joined the school with even bigger plans and a bigger battle ahead of us. We encountered new comrades along the way. In seven weeks, the first minefield exploded, COVID-19. For many, the lockdown that ensued was highly welcome, being considered an extension of the vacation. This was the tip of the iceberg. Three weeks became almost a year, until eventually the weeks and days all merged into one and there were no weekends. It was always sleep before sleeping and sleep after sleeping. Indeed, being twala. We went back for training only to be sent back after the explosion of the second minefield. COVID-19 reloaded. The pandemic was stronger, harsher and more brutal. Thankfully, we thank God that none of us succumbed to the disease. This time, the days were longer and the nights were longer than the days. The question changed from how are you to have you steamed? What occurred to me? Am I no more? Eh, I think I have COVID. Some physical training was, since physical training was no longer an option, we opted for the virtual one because after all, we couldn't afford to lax like the others, struggling to understand. It was indeed a struggle of its, own, of its own. In the course of struggling to understand, network jams, or the teacher gets locked out of the lesson, or a mother is quarreling in the background. Eh, my lord, I wonder. This was stagnant, and soon the only motto among us was Vanai, ah, ah, ah. Some soldiers quit the institution and moved elsewhere. Regardless, we moved. Soon, we found ourselves in our final year of training, filled with great uncertainty about the future. It was still a matter of no retreat, no surrender. The year has progressed, and we now find ourselves nearing the end. It is about 168 hours to the start of the war. The front line awaits us. In all this, my daughter, I cannot forget to mention to you all the people that have helped us reach this far. Please pass on my loving messages to them. The Commander in Chief, Sister Regina. <clears throat> the Queen of Howard, the second homilies have always slapped us hard. Because of your unquestionable words of wisdom, we strive to be no man's liability, but an asset. Plus, we shall not lean on rotten purple trees. Elegantly and authoritatively, you have led us to the battlefront. As non-administrators, we humbly apologize for where we have stepped on your toes. Thank you for putting us in the line and for all that you do for us, both what we see and don't. We rest knowing that when the Commander-in-Chief is powerful and intelligent, her army wins the war. <laughs> the spiritual commander, Father Javira Chimuli, words alone demean the meaning of thanks that you deserve. You know Father's homilies alone can make a million dollar selling book. We thank you for always delivering, and where not possible, we thank you for ensuring there is someone to take us through. We'll always remember, Move slowly, hands ahead, may not work. <laughs> the colonels, Mrs. Chironde, it has been a good story with you. Sometimes having numerous twists and turns, and as it is anyway, we do love a good story. But however sweet it may be, we have learned from you not to be wheelbarrows, ferrying and offloading everything we hear. It's from you that we have learned that it's not glamorous to leave us Mizigo women. Thank you very much. May you keep standing to impact more lives. <laughs> Mrs. Georgia, your kindness, gentility, and motherly care is not taken for granted. For the time you have reached, 
For the time you have marched, marched with us, we salute you. You always remember us that you always remind us that a word to the wise is enough. As we saw you, as you, as you saw into powerful lady, as we grow into powerful lady, the electrician. Special mention to you, the electrician, Mr. Hubbard. for being available on short notice, always willing to get things done as soon as possible. Be blessed, and may the current keep flowing. <laughs> the plumber, thank you, thank you, for always attending to our problems, as numerous as they may be, we do not take it for granted. <laughs> The lab technicians, tirelessly you have worked each to ensure that we have whatever we need for training in preparation for the war. Kudos to you. <laughs> Our medics, it's, in, it's inevitable for soldiers to get wounded always. Nurse Telpista and Nurse Jovia, Thank you so much for treating our wounded soldiers, sometimes even more than physically, so that they get back on the field. Healthy soldiers, after all, win a, fight a winning battle. <laughs> the kitchen staff. The kitchen staff under the leadership of Mr. Okuko Felix and Chef Emma, we are grateful that for each meal you have come through, the new train fill meals always re-energized us to face each day, whether smooth, all right. For your work on the very hectic days, we applaud you. <laughs> the Wadens, Waden Amuge and Waden Goretti, great appreciation goes to you for equipping us with what we need to manage our tents and campuses. Also for delicately looking after us in the sleeping areas. Thank you very much. The generals, the literature generals, this big class of eight solemnly vows to breathe, live, and exist literature. Your words reverberate in our ears. And yes, because of your wisdom, prayer, knowledge, and foresight, passing is definitely a must. History generals, history with all its volumes vast has but one page. Thank you for imparting in us the knowledge of our forefathers, which we shall wisely use to navigate this life. The math generals, from the knowledge, for the knowledge that you added in our lives, we greatly thank you. Whenever we got lazy and laxed, you pointed at us, and we were immediately revived with just one word. <laughs> we do promise to stay away from our lecturers, and keep in our lane. The French generals, vous méritez une bouteille de soda. We've learned from you that in VAC, every day will be a fire chill. We may not be able to go to France, so you bring France to us. Merci beaucoup. The divinity generals, to the men of God teaching the holy paper, the only one, the miracle worker, and the prophet, we are eternally grateful for the belief you have in us, and yes, for the chocolate. You once told us that if we fail divinity, we go to hell. <laughs> but we can't afford to do so, because heaven has always and will always be the goal. The chemistry generals. Bonds have been broken and formed. We thank you for the three, five simple steps to make it. Formula. Success in excess till failure is colorless. Biology teachers, we cordially appreciate all the information you have provided with us about our environment. Thank you for always letting us know that logic is not guaranteed in everyone's head. We promise not to let the selection pressure 
get against us. The economics teachers, Mr. Matobu and Mr. Nyonga. <laughs> Wabula, you are so great. <laughs> yes, it's a hard knock life, but as hard knock girls, truly steady. We promise to read books, as it is anyway, life is short. We'll always remember to work hard because you cannot fatten a cow on its market day. Geography generous. Just like the rivers you've told us about, the tests kept flowing, and so will the good grades. Thank you for your tireless efforts. Those maps you taught us will map our way into success. The technical drawing generous. There is a very undeniable bond between the TD soldiers and their generals. I mean, who gets to plan a liver's outfit, outfit for their generals and gets a surprise party? For everything, we're grateful to you, our fathers and vibe mates, who is actually greatest in music. <laughs> the physics generals. It's not every day that one gets to understand the working of complex, thing, complex things around them. However, the physics genius have made this possible. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Even when we look at the sun now, we know the angles at which the rays hit our own heads. <laughs> the foods and nutrition genius. A hungry man is an angry man. You have taught us to be able to prepare not only large sumptuous meals, but also healthy ones. And one day, when the right in his right senses takes us, one of us, when the right man in his right senses takes one of us as a wife, the marriage will not break, all because of you. Additionally, we thank you for all the extra skills you've imparted in us to be wholesome women. <laughs> the Yak Genius. From the day we got into Namagunga, Add yellow to every art piece became a song that we have sung and we shall sing till 8th December. We promise the people we draw, we promise that the people we draw will not have tumors and will be toned properly. <laughs> Our illustrations in calligraphy will be spotted from Mars. Everything, our art, everything about our art will be a reign of your hard work. The general paper general. This subject, has already, this subject already has your title screaming from it, General. Gathering knowledge from literally every scope of life may seem impossible, but you have done it with us, and we wholeheartedly appreciate you for this. The ICT Generals. Sometimes tough, soft, serious, and welcoming. All these blend to avail us with one of the best teams. Of course, with technology and its knowledge, we are able, we are at a better position to win this war. Our dearest class teachers, the greatest generals of all. <laughs> Mr. Janu, we thank you first of all for stepping in to fill the gap that was left by, your first, by our first father. You have taught us a lot, a lot about hard work discipline, and also sometimes timeless dance moves, especially for 360s. We can never forget your tough love, which always hit us hard so that we would come back to the right path. Wafoyo Matek. Madame Nalutalo, not your mayor. This journey with you has been one very interesting one. You have mothered us in every way possible. Every way possible, your assertive nature has never allowed anything to slip past you. Even where the cunningness of the little soldiers thought it had prevailed, you saw right through it. A lady strong and unwavering in doing the right thing always. You shall never have words enough to say all the heartfelt wishes we have for you. May God keep you upright and well. Mr. Pario, in his adventure, hashtag forever yours. 
our parents in their absence. Without you, we wouldn't be here. Surely, you have provided us with more than just enough. All the sacrifices are not for nothing. We promise and hope to make you proud. To the school community, the people who shared the battlefield with us, the privates in red, S1, being in the most conspicuous color should not only make you eye candy, but may you, be, may you grow to be actual ladies of substance. <laughs> the corporals in green, I quote Albert Hubbard, good health. Whenever you go out of doors, draw the chin in, carry the crown of the head high, and fill the lungs to the utmost. Drink in the sunshine, greet your friends with a smile, and put soul into every hand clasp. You'll make it, guys. Hang in there. <laughs> the S3s. Remember that you are an ocean, and no one, not even the moon itself, is allowed to control your glorious, beautiful tides. To the Air Force, to the troops that have gone ahead of us, we salute you. We are more than glad we got to walk this journey with you. We honestly couldn't have had a better group of soldiers to share the battlefield with. See you on the other side, young soldiers. We love you 3,000. To the ladies we ushered into the school, the S5s, stay safe. <laughs> the battle. The battle alongside COVID-19 showed us a different kind of strength. We aren't just soldiers, we are also warriors, courageous and confident. Being here for seven years, we have earned a PhD in Namagunga culture. <laughs> On that note, we retain the title, The Realist OGs. Now let me tell you something. We're out here looking good like there's no tomorrow. But we still know it. 2022. It's never really goodbye. We walk on knowing that impossible is just a mockery of the word possible. Thank you very much. Class of 2022. Pastor Tiam Just because everything's changing doesn't mean it's never been this way before. All you can do is try to know who your friends are as you head out in the world. Because star on the dark horizon, follow the light. We'll come back when you call me. No need to say goodbye. I'll come back when it's over. No need to say goodbye. The Lord bless you. Thank you.
be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. So long, farewell to you, my friend. Goodbye. We've sung and played together in the box, but it's time to say goodbye. So long, farewell to you, my friend. Goodbye for now, until we meet again, until we meet again, until we meet again, until we meet again. So long, farewell to you, my friend. Our chaplain, the deputy, dear teachers, and all protocol observed, good morning. Good morning, Sister Regina. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is I stand here on your behalf to appreciate the class senior six twenty twenty two for animating this Thanksgiving mass of theirs. As Father said, it's always good to show gratitude. And I also wish to appreciate you for your contributions to this college, not only today, but for the seven and three years that you have been here. I am very sure that each of you has added something to Namagunga. If you are one who can say you have added nothing, you need to go for confession. The good thing the chaplain is around. I'm not going to be very long in my communication, but before I came here, I read something that interested me, and I felt I needed to tell it to you. Somebody quoted and said, don't blame people for disappointing you. Blame yourself for expecting too much from them. I think that answers our problems of I was disappointed by sand, so you disappoint yourself by expecting too much from people. Learn to be self-sufficient. Appreciate yourself for who you are. Father Chisamba Mgera told us, go slow. That is not only to you, but to the rest of the school. Go slow, humps are ahead. Unfortunately, these days there are also women at work. So go slow, humps are ahead, people at work. Because it is not only men who are at work, even women are at work. Senior 6, 2020, I must say, in this little 2022, in this retard, you have taken us to another level, an advanced level. I want to thank you for your contributions to the chapel through the offertory that you have given 
this morning. We do not take this for granted and I am told some of you offered to clean the chapel. That was a very good gesture and it is simplicity. So it is my appeal to you that as you have said, you have earned yourselves a PhD in the Namagunga culture. I am sure you are going out to make us very proud. My dear senior foes, where are you? Yeah. <laughs> yes, we thank God for the far we have come. As we are in our last week of our O level, in our last week of our O level in Mount St. Mary's College, Namagunga, we thank him for all the blessings that we have received as we pray for our sisters also to be blessed. I am sure the coming week is going to be extremely busy and it is an advantage to my dear senior sixes because the rest of school, the school is also going to be busy with exams, this time even senior one and two. I was sharing with the senior two class parents about one of their parents who wanted to sue the school because the daughter had cheated in the exams in first term. Now I want to remind you that the rule was changed. You are got cheating, you go. So this time they will sue us not for giving you exams but for throwing you out of the school. So it is my appeal to you. Namagunga holds integrity as one of the major core values and we are not going to compromise it. So dear girls, as you begin your exams, believe in yourselves and trust God and all will be well for you. I also got very good news about an hour before I came here from teacher Maureen. She thanks you for your prayers and the boy is seeing the doctor the last time on the 18th. And they are flying back on 20th of this month. <laughs> to the parents who may be watching us online, when we came for the blessing of the candidates, many of the parents made contributions towards the operation of this young boy, and we want to appreciate them and the rest of the Namagunga community for saving a life. <laughs> Finally, on behalf of Catholics Online, I want to apologize. They came late, but I'm reliably informed they used public means. If you have never had a misfortune of using public means, especially during rainy season, you can blame them. But if you have had the privilege of traveling in public means, you will acquit them. So dear people who are watching us, these people went online late because there is no you can control a taxi. These people are looking for money. And there is no way they could jump on a border border, it was raining. So I think we all need to understand this. It can happen to any of us, even if you are in private means. The vehicle can break down. At least we appreciate the fact that they have come, they have arrived, and they have covered a bigger part of the function. 
father talked about the girl whose parents gave her a smartphone congratulating her for completing the exams. On Friday there was a story in the papers, I don't know that some of you have read it, about a girl in senior two who acquired a smartphone from where only herself knew. The parents discovered she had this smartphone and the father confiscated it and this girl committed suicide. This is a true story and it is in Uganda. Dear girls, if this gadget can become your God, because the gadget is removed from you, your God is taken away. And it is more important than your parent, because it was the father who confiscated the phone and the girl decided to take poison. She drank the poison because she could not see herself living without a phone which she had refused even to tell the parents where she had got it from. Dear girls, some of you senior foes are leaving, all of you during this week. We may not be here on Sunday to tell you this, but to you who are going back home, the parents remain parents, and they are the other gods we have on earth. And your parent will always wish you the best unless that parent has a problem. And they know what is the best for a child. So if a parent corrects you and you decide to run away from home, then there is a problem with you. Because now when you take your life, they will mourn for you for a day or two and then even people will stop associating with you because you are a disgrace in the family. Nobody wants to associate with a family where there is a person who committed suicide. Because this runs in the bloodline. In that family, there is a daughter who committed suicide. Men will fear to marry from that family. There is a son who committed suicide. Parents will fear to give their daughters to boys from that family. That's how serious suicide can be. So if ever you contemplate taking your own life, as I've always said, whatever you want to do, be it good or bad, think about the repercussions. You might think you are taking your life to punish your parent, but where are you going? I've always asked you. Because remember, the life we are living, we are pilgrims. We have to go home. Can you imagine yourself moving from here with your luggage? You are going to where you think is home. And you reach there and your parents say, where are you coming from? We don't know you. Can you imagine? Senior folk, you have finished your exams, you go home. And the parents say, who are you? We don't know you. This can happen when you go home, which is heaven. But where are, you, where are you coming from? The one we sent on earth, the time is not yet up. You go where you belong. Those are some of the consequences of taking your own life. So dear girls, we have talked. You have borne witness to me. I've been hard and I will always be hard and tough. Why? Because I want, when you are somewhere with your own family, you refer to me as somebody who made you who you are. I very much want to meet you in the future, and you tell me, sister, because of you, I have reached here. Instead of saying, this person stole for me exams and because of this person I cannot perform in my office. There are such cases. People cannot perform in the office because they stole for them exams in P7, in Senior 4 and in Senior 6. This is why here we insist you must read the teachers are doing their best. 
So we want to be very proud of you when we hear you are lawyers, you are doctors, you are engineers, you are pilots. And you will refer to Namagunga as having made you who you are or what you are. I want us to think of, especially senior six and senior four, where do you want to be 10 years from now? That is my question to you. And God bless you. I wish you all the success. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Regina, for that powerful message to our daughters and to all of us here. Like Sister Regina said, from six, you've done a lot of contribution, not only today, for the three and uh, seven years you've been with us. Thank you for that wonderful contribution to our community. Today in the offertory, I identified a violin which you've uh, you, Form 6, class teachers and parents, you've donated to our choir, to this church. I also saw a whiteboard. Thank you, Form 6 and uh, the class teachers. And thank you for beautiful animating this mass which is online. Thank you, Form 6. May we stand up for God's blessing. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads for God's blessing. May Almighty God bless you in his kindness and pour out saving wisdom upon you. May he nourish you always with the teaching of the faith and make you persevere in holy deeds. May he turn your steps towards himself and show you the path of charity and peace. And may the blessing of, of the Almighty God, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. The Mass is ended, go in the peace of Christ.
Thank you for joining us on Uganda Catholics Online. We would like to appreciate all of you for being uh, live today in this mass of the senior six. Here, the students of Saint Mount St. Mary's College in Amagunga here live, and we have been in a mass which was in this very chapel here at uh, the Ma Namagunga school here. We, of course, uh, wish all the best to the senior six candidates who are going to sit. And of course, we also thank you for being live here on Uganda Catholics Online, for seeing your children who are here and they are praying, they are giving everything to the Almighty God. Uh, with me here, I have uh, the candidates who are going to sit, and I'll request one of them to come and uh, talk to you. Please come and stand here. What is your name? My name is Ao Priscilla. How do you feel? Are you not scared? Not really. We have trust in God. And God tells us, fear not. Yes. How has been the preparation in this? It's not always easy, but moving and with teamwork, things always smoothen out. Yes. Thank you very much. And I uh, request uh, the other one also to come. You mentioned your name. Uh, please can listen here. Yeah? You mentioned your name and, uh, of course, uh, tell the viewers who are also watching you, your parents. My name is Liz Nyanzi and I'm in Form 6. Look at I've them been there. Doing, I'm doing this CM and one of the candidates that are sitting. So. You're doing BCM. What would you like to be? Cardiologist. Cardiologist. Yes. Wow, that's great. What message do you have for all the candidates out there who are going also to sit for the exams? We are going to make it despite everything, the undulating circumstances, despite COVID, everything, we are actually going to make it. Just trust in God and do your best. We wish you the very best Thank in you. your exams. And I have, uh, of course, another one who is uh, dressed on. They were also, the, you were also in the choir today. Why not scared preparing for the choir and yet the exams also? I think it's something that I'm already used to. It's already my culture, so it's easy to go with, to dance. And it is also a form of praise to God because how far, of, course of how far we have come going through COVID and still being able to do the exams. Yeah. First of all, what is your name and what message do you have for the parents who are watching you live now? Uh, my name is Karenji Cynthia Rajena, and my message to parents is that we're very grateful with our, with our children, and we really hope that God can join us in this fight and help us to bring pride to them because of how much sacrifices they have made, especially since we have spent even more years in HSC. Yes. Thank you very much, and I will request the final one uh, to give us uh, uh, her remarks. First of all, what is your name, and... What message do you have for the school staff, your teachers that have been with you throughout? What message do you have for them? How do you, do you appreciate them? First of all, are you covered? Is everything covered? Are you ready for the exams? My name is Karunji Danis. Mm -hmm. uh, to all our teachers, the support staff, we thank you. May God bless you. We know so many times you've stepped on your toes. But for the seven years, for the three years, we are very grateful. And may the almighty God we pay you back tenfold. Uh, as for what you have covered, I think most of us are ready. For what you have not polished, we are hoping to take this time and polish it now that you have finished our mass and you are now settled for everything else. Which combination are you doing? I'm doing BCM stroke ICT. What would you like to be? Oh my God. I would want to become a cardiothoracic surgeon. What does he do? What does she do? A, a cardiothoracic surgeon entails working from the throat towards your heart. So you work on the nose, the trachea, up to the heart. That's the great. You're wise. Thank you. You've already passed. Amen. And I believe that. Thank you very much. That has been one of the students uh, telling us, of course, uh, how the school and uh, the administration has taken them through uh, the, the exams. Uh, with me, I have uh, Reverend Sister, who is also the headmistress, if I'm not mistaken. But she's uh, very great, and uh, she has been here with these uh, students here and uh, giving them all the knowledge, everything they would need. Sister, uh, to the parents who are watching you uh, right now, what message do you have for them? Hey, thank you very much. I'm Sister Regina Navonka, the head teacher of this great institution. 
I salute all the viewers of Catholics Online. I want to thank the parents. I know things are not easy, but they have struggled to keep the girls in school for the past three and seven years. The economy is tough, but many of them have met their obligations and they have let the girls be comfortable in school. Even those who have not been able are promising and we are sure they will fulfill their obligations. The girls have been a wonderful lot and I wish to appreciate all the teachers who have journeyed with them, especially the two class teachers, Miss Narutalo Margaret and Mr. Janu Patrick Francis. It's not very easy, especially to deal with the youth, but the youth in Namagunga are exceptional, I must say. The grace of God is with us, and I want to appeal to the parents to continue the parenting that these girls have received here in Mount St. Mary's. We want our girls to be in one piece, just the way we have given them. They should discipline, but with love, and they should love, but with discipline. That is my message to the parents. And to the girls, we have talked a lot and enough. They know what they are going to do. I only appeal to the parents to help them be what we expect them to be. Thank you very much. The effect of COVID-19, uh, of course, affected these uh, uh, girls here of yours yes. and across actually the country and the world. Mm -hmm. uh, when they came back, how did you find them and how did you continue with them throughout the school time? Well, we had various effects of COVID-19. Some of the girls had lost parents, others had lost very close relatives, and this meant an effect on the economy, both from home, which was also impacting on the school. We had discipline issues because of the online lessons. Sometimes the girls had the gadgets, so they didn't use the gadgets only for school, mm. but they also used it for other things, social media and whatever, you know the effects. Mm. So actually, their coming back gave us a lot of work mm. to panel beat them and put them back online. But I must say, we continued talking, and with our usual talks, the girls picked up, and we didn't have a lot of problems with them. Mm. Yeah. That's very good, sister, and thank you for bringing them uh, in a godly way, having mass today. We hope even the briefing was okay. Yes. And uh, we appreciate you, sister, and we wish you the very best of uh, success and of course your students. Yep. The last message you have for the viewers uh, who are watching. Yes, as I said at the close of Mass, I apologize on behalf of Catholics online. Maybe we pray for them that they get means of means. transport whereby they can be arriving at venues in time. Here, one of our core values is time management. So anything that affects our time affects us. But I am sure the viewers have forgiven you just as we have forgiven you. So thank you very much. Thank you very much, sister, for that. And of course, we received one of the comments on YouTube and uh, you were telling us, Simon, yeah, Simon, you were telling us you have forgiven us. <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, we came a bit late, but we managed to be here because of rain. We appreciate you for being on, and uh, we wish you the very best of uh, today, and we wish all the candidates of this very school the happiest and the successful exams, and of course, God's blessing. For me and uh, I here, of course, we, we, we have uh, one of the uh, teachers who has been also with them. I would like to also uh, uh, introduce him to you here, telling us his name and what he does at school and for the students. Yeah, uh, thank you so much. Uh, my name is Ejanu uh, Patrick Francis, co-class teacher of Senior 6. Um, I want to thank God for today and uh, thank God for these girls of Senior 6 for they have been a wonderful lot. I thank God for the head teacher who has guided us because when the head of the fish is rotten, then you know that the whole part is rotten. But our head is a wonderful head and has uh, led us so well. I also want to thank um, uh, the parents who have always supported us. They have supported the school by paying school fees, by giving advice. We thank them so much. Not forgetting, of course, uh, our chaplain, who has always nourished us with the word of God. Every morning, daily, we have mass here. Uh, so uh, as, as you're aware, uh, one of the core values of the school is prayer 
and it's what we do daily in everything that we do. Before you start any function, before you start an activity, we start with a prayer, even our lessons. So really give thanks to God. I want to thank as well uh, my co-class teacher, who I think will come and give the word, that Ms. Daltalo, who has supported, uh, well, supported each other to make sure that this, this class excels. Thank you, very much. God. Yes, thank so you much. very much for, yes. for, for your time and uh, telling the viewers. I will welcome uh, the Madam you said, your co-teacher here at uh, the school. First of all, you introduce yourself to the viewers and the parents who are watching you. And how best are your students prepared for the exams? Uh, my name is Margaret Nalutalo. I'm a co-class teacher with Mr. John as you said. And uh, as Sister Regina, head teacher said, the girls are well prepared, both academically and spiritually, as well as emotionally. Mm. So we have left everything to God, and as God says, he'll use anything you have. Mm. So we believe that what you have given the girls, God is going to use it to their success in the exams and in their lives. Thank you very much, uh, Madam, for preparing uh, the students out there to succeed in life. Once again, uh, we would like to appreciate you. Thank you for being on. And uh, here, me, Victor, and Edward, we are signing out. And we wish the very best of uh, uh, this school's success for these exams which are coming. We wish you the very best. Take care. And may the good Lord be with you.